purposeness. It's going to be kind of this progression here. But I want to welcome in Chef George, who is right over from Greece, um, who has helped open up Yelenis here and is part of the corporate Yelenis family that's going to be taking place. So, oh, and he's got amazing things. Chef. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Look at the color on that. Come on in, Alexander. Don't be, you don't have to be camera shy. You can come in, too. All right. Look at this. Keep, oh, all right, now we're in really good shape. Yeah, we have to start drinking. We have to start drinking. <laughs> My kind of thing. Chef, thanks for making all the right. time. Really good to see you. Nice to meet you. So Thank I you have to say, have and it's been, what, three three weeks now even over there? Yeah, uh, yeah. we're oh, running keep coming. our third week now. Third week. Yeah. So I went in there while they were just opening, while they were towing their soft opening and trying to get everything settled. And I was fortunate enough to meet Alex and Alexandra and the chef and Nico, who was over from Greece, at, from the Elenis over there. And I have to tell you is that all of you have created an incredibly impressive environment. And I know that you have worked insanely hard. I was watching you those couple of days when I was stopping in and you have to do staff trainings and there's a lot of education. And this concept for us is unique because there isn't anywhere else in Rhode Island or for this matter that I can think of in New England that has this type of Greek experience. Yeah, yeah. And we, yeah. we came from Greece like we want to uh, bring here in uh, Rhode Island all our, our Greek products, our Greek uh, traditions and uh, experience. So people here uh, in, in the United States, but starting from Rhode Island, uh, Rhode Island, which is a place that we felt in love. So here is a place that we choose to open our first uh, store. Uh, and uh, s as soon as possible, we are going to go further with more stores, but this is the first place that we chose. We, we felt in love with uh, Providence, actually, because uh, it's a food city. There, there, are, uh, there is Johnson & Wales University, so there are a lot of people here that are like uh, uh, food conscious and uh, they are looking for something new, new trends, and uh, we hope to, to give them pleasure. Well, and, and, it's, and it's new education in that standpoint, and I'm so glad that those are some of the reasons that you chose to come to Rhode Island because it says a lot for us and for everyone out there watching that it is a lot that Rhode Island is able to attract these yeah. type of things. And Alexandra is from Newport, Rhode Island, so she right. had a connection yeah, to yeah. us already here, right. which is fantastic. But this whole concept that you guys are creating, and I, I choose this term to compare it to because it's what I can think of that comes to mind, is that Italy, which has expanded across parts of Europe and now New York and San Francisco and Massachusetts, you to me are the Greek version of that, is what you're becoming. I mean, kind of give us this visual so people understand that it's not just the food that we're going to talk about and we've yeah. got the products, but kind of paint us this verbal visual, the setup of where you are and how that's set up over yeah. there. Yeah, Yolani started like uh, seven years ago almost. Um, the idea was to go and walk around all over the, our country, Greece, and uh, search for the best traditional products from small producers, organic, uh, with no preservatives, uh, and uh, bring these products all over the world. So it starts like the idea, let's collect the best products that we produce, um, not from big producers, almost all of them are small, but really, really small producers. And let's bring, them, uh, bring these products to the door of anybody in this world. So this was the main idea. Then, um, so we created a website in order to promote these products. Uh, after that, uh, two years now, we have our first store in Athens, which is huge. It's 12 floors building. We have a different kind of restaurants inside there. And uh, so we have our first daily, um, like physical store. So people can uh, buy products. Uh, through our shelves. Um, so we choose also to have um, a dining experience for our uh, customers, actually, not only dining, also breakfast, uh, lunch, and dinner. Uh, so people can uh, come and eat those products. So we are cooking with our products. Really? So yeah. everything that's on the marketplace is stuff that you can do there? Right. Yeah, so I have some, some ideas. And, and this, is what, you know, this is what's important to me is that I've had people message me now and tell me, I, I went there for breakfast, I went there for lunch. Mm -hmm. So if you're working in the city, if you're living in the city, you have these great options to be able to do. The only, I think Monday was the only night that you're not doing dinner, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the rest of the for week. For the moment. For the moment. For the moment. <laughs> that could change too. But yeah. for the rest of the week, you've got this option to be able to go for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, right. do shopping. I mean, I went for dinner on a Saturday night and spent almost as much time shopping as I did sitting down that, to have that's dinner. That's what most of the people do. Like, they like this or they come to eat and maybe at the beginning they forgot to order something because they are <laughs> right. impressed of the deli. So they have a walk around 
and uh, then they can have a seat. We have two floors uh, where people can uh, enjoy their meal or their coffee. Uh, we have uh, amazing Greek yogurt, not Greek style, but Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt. <laughs> yeah, actually such a good Greek yogurt you can find even in Greece. Uh, my wife is actually absolutely yeah. in love with it. My in wife and my son. Different kinds of flavors when we combine them with different kinds of toppings. Uh, we have wines. Uh, yeah. Which I'm going to pour yeah, a little bit. Little He's doing a lot of talking, so I'm going to pour some wine. <laughs> so one of the things just from a location perspective to give people an idea of where you're located is the Grace Church, which is in Providence, and also the Hotel Providence are your neighbors. You have one, they're both directly across the street from him. So that is a, a great landmark for you to do. And if you're coming into the city to go to PPAC, to go to the Convention Center, to go to Trinity, this is an awesome, awesome option for you to not be able to come in and enjoy because you can stroll in pretty much at any time. I, I can tell you I was thankful enough to be able to sit down with Nico and have a Greek wine tasting to sit down and got educated. And I think that's kind of where, Chef, I'd like to kind of segue as I sip some of this wine with you is tell us a little bit about what you're carrying, what the products are you brought today, because that's this is what it is, is to get educated in there. Once you've gone in, you're going to fall in love and want to go back. So Yeah, so first of all, we know our, uh, our products. We know also most of the producers of our products. So we can tell a lot of things to our guests for our products. Um, and um, yeah, our products. Let's start with the, with the wine. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you for making the time, Chef. Yeah. So mm. I choose to bring a wine from Santorini Island, which is um, a, a unique environment for, um, um, uh, for grapes to, to grow. So Santorini has, uh, because of, um, um, because of uh, the, the ground, uh, has great pro uh, great grapes so in order uh, uh, after that yeah it, uh, they make great wine and you're carrying a large variety of Greek wines there yeah we have a lot I we mean I think lot. and I put this picture up on social media but I think with Nico alone I must have tried mm -hmm. at least 13 14 different wines and I'll post that picture up again after today's segment because those are the wines you want to go into taste trust me I tasted every single one of them and I was in heaven there were I, my Greek wine education was amazing so yeah, <laughs> I have also to, to tell you that all the time we bring in new products so yeah, we, it's not that we have those in ourselves and that, that's it. We always bring a uh, new product uh, here in the States. Uh, we help also the, the producers to, uh, with their permissions, FDAs and uh, all that. So uh, we will bring more things, more products. Uh, so yeah, this is a, this is a great wine. Um, we, are, we have a, a big variety also of, um, of olive oils, uh, extra virgin, all, all our all olive oils in our shelves are extra virgin olive oil, which is huge difference between olive oil, simple and extra virgin. As you can see also here, uh, most of our products, this one, this one also, uh, and the honey back there has uh, um, some uh, awards. So right. yeah, most of them are uh, European awards. So this had a gold medal award in London, I think, this, uh, yeah, this London, yeah. extra virgin olive oil. As soon as you open the bottle, you can smell the, the difference, the flavor, and all the aromas. And he's not kidding when there's several different kinds when he talks about when you come into the shelves in the marketplace. And the other thing that caught my eye about the many different kinds was the honey. honey. Is that you must have had at least yeah. seven or eight different types of honey, right? Yeah, yeah. This is honey from um, uh, Peloponnesos, which is the south part of Greece. Um, this also um, has a um, honeycomb inside. Um, Honeycomb inside? Yeah, the yeah, yeah, you can see that. Oh, yeah, you can. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a nice bottle also. So mo uh, most of our products can be like uh, good options also for presents. For like, gifts, yeah. yeah. For gifts. All right, what do we got here? So here is uh, saffron. Uh, we produce saffron in the north of Greece a lot, which is uh, amazing with seafood. Um, you, you have to use just a little bit of that when you cook. Uh, you can make great dressings, you can mix it with yogurt and make a really, really nice um, dip. Uh, here we have sea salt. So uh, in all, all uh, our recipes, we use sea salt. So we is le also this had the, um, an award. Um, so yeah, uh, this is capers from Santorini also. Santorini is uh, well known for capers, wine and uh, cherry tomatoes, which unfortunately we cannot bring them here. <laughs> Obviously. One of the things that I thoroughly enjoyed on every one of my visits now besides the wine has been the cheese selection and also you've got this entire wall of dried fruits and nuts yeah, that's right, in the back right, of the right. marketplace. We import those from Greece also. Uh, they are also nuts, most of them are uh, um, 
from uh, small producers and um, yeah, they're amazing. They're That's unbelievable. I was people like them, yeah. And, and going back to the education standpoint is that um, Alex and Alexander's son was there the night that I was there and he was literally going through each thing, describing it to us, telling us about even the health benefits of specific ones. Yeah. So from an education standpoint, you're going to want to go in and spend time because they've got the knowledge and you're yeah. going to love walking out of there feeling like you've learned something more from yeah, it. Alexander, Alex uh, and his family and the kids, yeah. They have been trained to, they have been working in our um, shop in uh, Greece for uh, several months. So they get trained, they know all our, all, uh, our philosophy and most of uh, our products. Yeah. So what is this here? So this is uh, halva, it's made from uh, sesame. Okay. Um, uh, it's great, it's a superfood. It has also um, uh, almond and um, cranberries inside. Uh, it comes in different flavors. Nice. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing. You d didn't taste this? No, I haven't had you that. Have I'm going to have to try <laughs> that next. So before we get to the dishes that yeah. you brought, you've got breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And the style of coming into Yolanda's is a little bit different because for breakfast and lunch, you're ordering from the counter, correct? Yeah. But then for dinner, it's set up uh, restaurants, table style for the restaurants. So kind of before we go into these dishes, give us a little overview of what's available for breakfast and lunch. Yeah. So we have, uh, um, first of all, we have our uh, traditional Greek pita that we prepare in uh, uh, just in front of uh, the customers. Even before you come in the restaurant, you can see how we prepare our pita, um, which is not to um, confuse with uh, souvlaki or uh, stuff like that, gyros. Yeah. So when we call pita in Greek, pita is pie, means pie. Okay. okay. So we prepare pies, but we call them pita, as it is the name in Greek, uh, in Greece. So um, yeah, we have different fillings for our uh, pies, um, and then we have uh, a menu with uh, eggs. So we have a, a, an option of eggs. I have brought you here. Uh, one of those dishes. This is a uh, spinach salad with radish, uh, green apple, uh, poached eggs, um, yeah, and honey, lemon dressing. I feel healthy <laughs> just looking at it. Yeah, this is the, the healthy version of Oh my of god, our I eggs. feel completely <laughs> healthy looking at it. Makes me feel the color on these radishes yeah. is unbelievable. It's amazing, yeah. Really All nice. right, so yeah. that's kind of our breakfast overview. Yeah, for then we have sandwiches. Oh, what, oh, she brought this. Oh, I was looking for this yesterday. I went shopping there yesterday. This is the chutney with apple and tomato. So this that's was amazing. a spread. And again, if you look back at my pictures, this is what I was eating. This and there was a, a lime and ginger. Yeah, was lem it? lemon ginger. Lemon right. ginger that I was having. There was another spread. I actually bought that one yesterday too to spread on the cheeses. Yeah, this yeah. stuff. This, this guy, this guy that produced this used to be a chef. He is still a chef. He's still a chef. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he used to do. I, I mean, only he was only a chef working in restaurants, and he decided to prepare these products. Uh, he has a variety of fourteen different kinds of uh, flavors. Uh, they are amazing. They are amazing with uh, cheeses. Yeah, yeah. so good. Uh, in Greece, so uh, good. We, we serve platters of cheeses with uh, these chutneys. Uh, has amazing caramelized onion. Maybe you haven't mm, tasted a better caramelized onion <laughs> than, than this guy can make. Uh, yeah, I, I know all these, all these producers. That's the, the amazing part of Yolenis. You know that you come. Uh, um, in contact with these guys. Right. It's not a big business that you don't know the owner no, or who this prepared this product. That's what Nico he, was telling me. He even delivers from, even actually. From the wines, he, was he brings the things. Uh, when we have an order, he brings uh, his product to, to our store. So we know him. He knows us. Uh, the same thing with uh, Elawon, uh, Mr. Kamburis, uh, and most of our producers. We know them. We know we know the faces of the people who prepare the product. So you've got great confidence in the authenticity yeah. and where the stuff is coming from to come over. And what's this last issue? So yeah, here? this is. Um, a code with um, um, uh, boiled greens that is a, a traditional uh, version of eating um, a fish in Greece with lemon and some beets. Uh, we love beets, we love uh, boiled greens in Greece and we have a lot of fish also. So yeah, this is a dish that we have in our dining menu uh, which is 100% um, traditional Greek recipes. Uh, nothing changed, it's like Raw, <laughs> right. as it should be, yeah. as is the traditional recipe. Uh, I just have made some touches. Uh, while our breakfast menu, uh, the all day uh, menu, let's say, um, has some influences from new trends and uh, American trends and uh, American ingredients, but is basically Greek with some uh, so influences. Some influences. Yeah. <laughs> but the Greek, uh, the dining menu is 100% Greek. So I was reminded when I sat down at my wine testing, Alanis, that. 
you know, that's where Bacchus, all these wine gods, all these things that you heard of came from. And wines originated from Greece before they were brought to anywhere else in Europe, even Italy. A lot of these clones, a lot of these different vines. So it was nice to have to connect some of those origins. And again, I go back to the education standpoint is that you guys are training that team over there now. And with all of you that came over from Greece, you're really helping us to appreciate your culture, seriously. Um, you know, and before I let the chef go, I kind of want to segue into your background because we were having a conversation the other day. You've had some fun experiences in your time being a chef here. Yeah, yeah. You've cooked for some pretty cool people. <laughs> yeah, I have worked for uh, some, let's say, famous people. S some famous. <laughs> Tell us a couple of these famous people here. <laughs> yeah, let's say um, Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Working for him, I have been working for uh, yeah, um, Bob Sinclair. Uh, Carl Cox, a lot of DJs actually. A lot of DJs that come yeah. over to Greece. I also work for Avicii, uh, yeah, who unfortunately passed, who passed away recently, yeah, passed yes. Away. But uh, those connections to be able to make those things, I mean, and that's showing the culture of our people coming here and what we appreciate for the style of food and what you guys are producing. This is truly an experience. And when you go in, I think you're going to agree with me that this has literally got this Greek form of, of Italy there. Um, you know, and, and talking to Alex and Alexander is that there's a lot of potential of new things to be able to have happen. Um, you know, potential events that are coming up. I've encouraged them very heavily to try to do olive oil tastings and wine tastings because the more education that we can get, the better off people are going to be coming in to enjoy these things with you. Yeah, so. I would like to invite everybody just to pass from our uh, place, uh, just to have a look. They, I think they will enjoy, they will uh, pass their time uh, in, in a great way. Uh, they can see products, they can see, they can ask about something. Uh, we know a lot of things about food, so we can give advices also uh, for uh, different um, question, in different questions. Yeah. I mean, even if it's not any of our product, uh, the main issue. Um, yeah, people will have great time inside uh, that place. Yeah, it's Absolutely. also I think really really nice, and I'm really glad because I worked uh, one year and a half in that project over there, uh, and I'm still working in that. <laughs> um, <laughs> that people are appreciating all our effort and uh, Absolutely. the environment, and yeah. It's no, you know, it's no big secret that a, a lot of restaurants, it takes the time and the concept and the development to launch these projects can almost be as long as when some restaurants are able to stay open. You guys have put your heart and soul into bringing this. You had your first model, so to speak, back in, right. in Greece to be able to do this. But the time and effort that goes into this, when you walk in the door, you're going to appreciate it. Just the, from the design to the style of the open kitchen for people to be able to see there, to the fact that you can go upstairs and dine and have the window views up there as well, and then this marketplace directly in the back. It, it's going to catch your eye. And whether you're going in the marketplace in the beginning or the end of your dining experience, you're, you're going to be there probably equally as much time as yeah, you are right. when you're eating. And, th and that's what I felt so far. So, Chef, you guys have done a, a terrific job. Kudos to you and your team. This is going to be, you guys are a wonderful asset already to the state of Rhode Island and looking forward to the growth and the expansion. So thank you for making the thank time today. Thank you for really inviting us. Really appreciate guys. it. And I will be finishing <laughs> off some of this wine afterwards. Don't worry. Bye. See you. Taylor. You want, uh, chef, I'll give you that too. Make that happen. Taylor, I'll let you take that because those are gla gla glasses. So I can honestly tell you, I'm going to hold this one here hostage because I was looking for it the other day, is that these jams, if you go in there between the honeys, the jams, the different things in the, the marketplace there, trying these with the cheeses was a special, special treat. And also talking to Alexandra's son who was there helping me choose some of the nuts and dried fruits. They're letting you taste the different ones. You can pick up what you'd like to go home with. It was truly, truly an amazing experience to be able to go through with that. So certainly last but not least, and a neighbor for these guys that is right over there, is oh boy now this spot i happened to walk upon it and they were literally doing their soft opening 